now, Ellen's guest host, Jennifer Aniston. I'm Jen Aniston. I was gonna say you might recognize me because I'm Jen Aniston, but I think if that's, we cleared that up. Um, I'm so happy to be here today, guess. Uh, I mean, of, of course, you know, I, I play a, a host on TV, The Morning Show. Thank you. But this, is totally different. This is mid-afternoon show. It's a mid-afternoon show, so I can say things like, like I can say <laughs> and, uh, and I can say ass <laughs> and I can say what, oh, sorry. No, I can't. Oh, that's late night. Sorry, well, that's late night, late night. Anyway, sorry guys if I offended anybody. I love Ellen. As you know, I will do anything for her. Yeah, and you know, because we are, real life friends and you know I mean there's Hollywood friends and Hollywood friends they kind of like do that air kiss thing and then when you're real friends you do you know you do that you do like that <laughs> right I mean that's what real that's what real friends do <laughs> or maybe just me um, anyway and since we are real friends I thought that you know since she's not here I'm gonna share some dirt on Ellen <laughs> Some dirt, and you know, I'm not talking just dirt. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm telling you some deep, dark secrets. <laughs> okay, guys. Like for example, uh, people think that she buys and sells houses because she loves real estate. No, it's not true. <laughs> it's because she's on the run <laughs> from the law. You have no idea. I got more. Her real name? It's not Ellen. It's Sherry. <laughs> Sherry Linguini. It's true. You just gotta Google it. I found it, and there's one more, there's one more. I, I can't, I, I can't, she throws, oh, she throws pennies away. She throws pennies and she throws them right into the garbage in front of people. <laughs> Good luck, pennies. And then, wait, I got another one. Um, oh, I can't even walk into her dressing room because she's burning one of those Gwyneth Paltrow candles. <laughs> oh, and one more, okay, hold on. She once voiced an animated adult film called Grinding Nemo. <laughs> It's a little, it's hard to find, but you know how to find it. <laughs> anyway, just please, guys, don't tell her I told you any of that, because I really would do anything for her. And I don't know if you, you, you know this, but, but I was actually Ellen's very first guest on this show. <laughs> it's, it's very true. Um, and I'm not saying that this show would not be the hit that it is <laughs> if it wasn't for me, but... You know, I'm also saying that I wouldn't mind a little piece of that blonde's portfolio. <laughs> you know, but anyway. So the morning, this morning when I got here, the producers actually showed me a clip of us from our very first show. It was, it was 17 years ago. It was very sweet, blew my mind. We're so, we're so young. We, we are so, so, so young. Take a look at this clip. It's really cute. Thank you for being on our very first show. I'm so excited for you. Well, thank you. I'm excited. I mean, once a week was, you know, great, but right. now it's every day. Well, my goal is to do it like three or four times a day. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. I mean, I don't know, but I, I think we look the same. <laughs> exact same. And now, here to help me start the show, please welcome Twitch. <laughs> to wake up 
just having that in a cup of coffee would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but you got, thank you for being here today and supporting me as I guest you. host I for Miss Ellen. Um, and uh, I, I, I got to—I know that Ellen took your DJ desk away, yeah, so yep. you're just sort of sitting <laughs> on, kinda a, got a on a stool here. Stool. Yeah. yeah. So I just want you to know, I, you know that apparently the, the show ER used to shoot on this set. So I happened to go, I found something that I'm going to help you out so you don't have to sit on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is on. Um, Get on up there. Yeah, this is. Yes. Yep. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Get on up. Get on up. Listen, it was either that or the mammogram machine, and I don't. I don't yeah, think that. Is, uh, Look, and you can you can recline and relax yeah, at no. the same time. It, yet it's not relaxing. That's weird. It's, <laughs> it's, yes. <laughs> Welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah. It is so exciting to host a talk show for the very first time. <laughs> Ellen actually asked me. She asked me to host during my interview with her a, a couple months ago. I was sitting right in that chair. So, of course, I said yes, because we're friends. I mean, I hadn't won my SAG award yet, so. <laughs> you know, you really, you just, you can't say no to Ellen, <laughs> obviously. I mean, I've tried, I've tried many times. That's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> You want to know why Ellen is not here today? Yeah. This is what she told me. She told me that she had to go to the DMV. <laughs> now, that's an obvious lie, right? <laughs> Seriously, I mean, on the DMV, it's not even a good lie. <laughs> so, I mean, if I know Ellen, she's probably at home, you know, at her mansion, counting the noses on her Picasso. <laughs> and, you know, so relatable. Hey, what? We have a video. She actually sent a video. There's a video. It Andy? Just came in. Andy, yeah. this just in is saying that Ellen has sent a video. Yeah. Well, let's see what this little liar has to say for herself. Hi, Jen. Here I am at the DMV getting my driver's license renewed. I told you I was going to do that, and I bet you didn't believe me. Well, here I am. I don't know why I'm doing this. I've been driving without a license since the 90s. Anyway, help me out with a... There's a question on the, uh, the test. How, how fast are you legally able to drive above the speed limit? Do you know? Text me. Let me know. Have fun today. That's amazing. That's commitment. She's standing in front of the sign at the TMV. That doesn't prove anything. <laughs> Actually, it really does prove it, doesn't it? She's there. But anyway, Ellen, to answer your question, whatever is on the speed limit sign, I just add 20%. It's like tipping. <laughs> All right, let's move on today. So you probably know Ellen's show is filmed on Warner, the Warner Brothers lot. Um, and I spent about 10 years here on a show called Friends. <laughs> actually still here. Um, it's part of the Warner Brothers uh, studio tour. So I thought, while I'm here, I'll go take a visit. Let's see what happened. And welcome to the set of Friends here at Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood. This is the real set. Just sit right here, all Perfect. for you. Who is your favorite friend? I would say Ross. Huh. But look right over here at this camera. I'm going to take two okay. photos of you. So act super excited like you already are. <laughs> and light, camera, and latte. Ross! <laughs> Latte. Yay! Hi! Right. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah? Yes! Oh we have to pretend. Oh, oh my Hi god! Guys. Lights, camera, and latte. It's myself! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. I know. Oh. It's the cruelest oh. thing in the world. Lights, camera, and latte. Hi! Oh. What's oh. happening? Hi! Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh. I'm sorry. Huh? Really? No, you're not dreaming. Oh, oh. Really? really? You? Oh, the mask? No. 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 This is all, you, are you, you? This is all oh, happening. Wow. 
So you really throw me here? I live here. So <laughs> Who's your favorite friend? Joey. Lights, camera, action. Yeah. Joey! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's okay. Oh my god. Who is your favorite friend? Phoebe. Same. Monica. Phoebe. <laughs> and lights, camera, and latte. I'll pretend I didn't hear it. Oh my god! What did you say? Oh I was gonna say you. Oh, you are so sweet. Oh, jeez. to watch your third favorite friend. <laughs> oh, so, oh, this is amazing. So anyway, like I said before, welcome, you guys. It's going to be fun, I hope. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm on a new show called The Morning Show. Uh, which is, thank you. Thank you. Uh, which is why I, I, won, uh, I won the SAG Award. Did I mention I won a SAG Award? <laughs> I really wish, I wish Ellen was here because I'd love to show it to her because I know she's never won one. And, and I have, and what was I, anyway, what was I talking about, Twitch? Oh, my SAG award. Um, no, the morning show, the morning show. And if you haven't seen a clip, here, here's a little piece of it for you. After all that I have done and all that I have given to you, my life, my love, my body, I broke my vagina with a big head of yours. And I had to be surgically sewn back together. I bet you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Ouch. You can watch Morning Show on Apple TV Plus, and we will be right back. hosting the show today, I really wanted this guy to be my first guest. Please welcome one of the funniest men on the planet, Will Ferrell. Turn it down, Will. It's Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> right? Oh, 1999, that's the first time we met. That's right. On you, SNL. You came to host? I hosted SNL. You hosted us. Did you have fun? I Did I have fun? I had the best time ever. I know ever. we were... Uh, we could not, oh, I could not that. get through. Yes. Oh, oh, it's that a herpes commercial. medication. Yeah. Um, I couldn't... <laughs> That was that skit. Look how serious I am. Look at you. I'm a serious business person. Between making me laugh, you quick, you always made me break. Um, and you always broke. And I don't I, know if you did that to make me break or. No, I'm just a bad actor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Interesting. But I remember being very nervous to meet you. <gasps> and you were what? so nice to our cast. And I had grown my hair out and cut it in a Rachel. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> You were like, that does not look good on a man. <laughs> but you told me gently, very I sweetly. did. I was yeah. a kid, but I was doing it privately. Yeah. Right, right. I gave you a, you did a solid. Me. Yeah. yeah. First of all, congratulations. You're about to celebrate your 20th wedding anniversary. Yes. So that was. In that August. Was in August. Oh, August. You got a couple Let's months to screw this up. Yeah, I was going to say. Vivica, oh, look out. Look at that. I don't know how or well, why she picked me, because but... Because she loved... Well, I, well, I it's do. It's her... Uh, I get it's, it. It's her burden to bear. I, yeah. I think it has something to do... Listen, I heard a little bit about... Because, um, you know, I hear things. Right, you hear... Right. 
Yeah. You hear a lot of I things. I hear a lot of things, especially at this show. Yes. Um, that you do this, you have a holiday tradition. Yes. Um, and my wife, I have a picture my wife of is this. Swedish. Yes. We do a big Swedish Christmas party. What does that year. look like? Explain and, this. Uh, tradition. And I play, that's me. That's you? That's Tompton, Swedish Santa. So we have a party for 75 to 100 people, including their kids. Ow! And we get names of all the kids, and Tompton makes an appearance and gives a present to each kid. So you have to come up in front of Tompton. Now, Tompton doesn't just hand you your gift. You have to earn it. Uh-oh. Yeah. This is intense. It's intense. Are they it's traumatized like, by uh, this? Or no? It's I guess intense they get for me. Yeah. It's like a half-hour improv session. I yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, little Bobby, well, speak Spanish, okay. <laughs> Count to five in Spanish, here we go. And uh, yeah, so I put them through their paces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're really nervous, but they are so excited they when they earn their, their, their present. And if they can't, if they're too nervous to do anything, I just make them do five push-ups. <laughs> so when we go to Stockholm. Yes. Uh, and we'll just, you can impress people by asking, when does Tompton arrive? Oh, I can't wait. No. I'm going to do that. I'm going to impress so many people. Stop not, them. Not really. Well, we'll you see. probably won't. But um, listen, but today's your son's good. birthday. Axel's 10 years old. Oh. <laughs> Axel, what a great, what a great name. How it's many? You have three boys. You have three boys. Uh, three boys. Axel, Axel Matthias, Matthias, and Magnus. Magnus. All very common names. Yes. Um, by the way. Oh but my they're much gosh. bigger now. Look how cute. So Axel turned 10. The middle guy, Matthias, turned 13 in December. Oh, and boy. And Magnus is about to 13. turn six, 16. That's a house of three boys. House of three, three boys. boys. What three is boys. that like? So, I mean, as a parent of okay, three boys, that's a lot of, it's a lot of chaos. Yeah. And all parenting rules go completely out the window. You go from like... You know, all the things you read about, like conflict resolution. Sure. I'm sorry that you, your feelings are hurt. And uh, 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 interesting, I hear what you're saying. However, within five minutes, like, get upstairs now and brush your teeth. <laughs> Shut up, okay? <laughs> I don't care. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> it's like, you become your parents. Yes. Even though, I don't know if my parents ever told me to shut up. I try not to say. Well, so. Let's not, well. It's like running a small correctional facility. It yeah. is. I want to get like high powered like water yes. cannons installed oh. so I can just like. Hose them. Yeah. Just down. 1,600 pounds of pressure just up against the wall. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I get that. Right. Well, we'll talk more about the how you want to <laughs> raise your children. God, that's going to um, be a this is amazing. crazy amazing. We're going to have more with this. Will Ferrell yeah. when we get back right after this. <laughs> Maybe we ski the beast after lunch. Oh, we'll do that, Dad. Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I don't think I, it'll be that challenging. It looks black, but it skis red. Really? Uh, American blue. Yeah. Several of the black runs are American blue. European red. They just call it black for the prestige. Where did you hear that? I just know it. Yeah. It'll be fine. You can handle it. How about this? Why don't we go and we find some good powder? And then we can get in some practice runs, you know, for the... Uh... Rodeo? I love this movie. I love this movie. Downhill. Okay, Will, tell us what this movie's about. This is actually a, a remake of a Swedish movie that was called Force Majeure. Force Majeure. Everyone's laughing. No, I'm no, being serious. Right. It's being serious. Um, which is a, it's a story about a family who go on a ski trip in the Alps, uh, trying to kind of find some more, you know, downtime, family time together. Mm -hmm. And on their first day of skiing, a avalanche hits in which uh, uh, Julia goes to protect the family uh -oh. and I grab my cell phone and leave. Oh. <laughs> Only to find out that it was just a practice one. Mm -hmm. It was just a very close call. And that decision on Pete's part kind of shades the rest of the trip. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's a comedy that... Uh, also takes some some turns and gets very, very serious, very, very real. Yeah, very heartfelt about 
where they stand with their relationship. Uh, yeah. Do you really? How well do you know your partner? Right. Uh, kind of explores all of that stuff. Uh, yeah. You've never met Julie. I mean, you've never worked with Julia, but you've also never met her? We, we, the first time we met was sitting down to talk about doing this movie. How is that possible? I don't know. You two? Yeah. I two of the most brilliant the comedians? Well, you know I mean, about our feud we had, right? Oh. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> right. I won't bring that up here. Right. That's okay. Um, well, no, it was just one of those things where people think that you we should have met. I know. known each other and worked together. Because people think actors are in a sort of a club. Exactly. So there's another role that, that, that I heard about is that you, your sons are play, you're, are into sports now. They're all they're all playing sports. A lot of soccer. A lot of soccer, yeah. and you are you've elected to you. you well, well, how does that work? I in, think you're in a in youth soccer in AYSO soccer. A lot of the parents have to get volunteer points, and you have, have to you have to you have to volunteer referee. <sighs> and so a lot of times I have to. <laughs> I right, have to now wear that's that. That's amazing. Come on, how cute. Look at that. Look at that little outfit. I am ready to call offside at any time. <laughs> I yeah. usually get through half a game before, before one of the kids on, on an opposing team is like, are you the elf? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, but they're in the middle of the game, and they'll, they'll stop and be yeah. like, he's the elf. And the coach goes, shut up. Get the ball! But the elf is... Yeah. So it's like a distraction. So it's, it's almost a an advantage it's almost for an your advantage children. To throw the, you know. That's yeah. so smart. It's, it, oh, it's all tactical. Wow. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of games, guys, we're going to play a game after this. <laughs> okay. plays this game. So I wanted to do it uh, this time, and I wanted to play Burning Questions. Great. And we're gonna let it burn, 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 burn. We're gonna let it burn, 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 burn. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm gonna read a question, and then you have to answer the first thing that comes to your mind, and then you're gonna hit the buzzer. After okay. you answer. Okay. Okay? Ready? Okay. Sure. Um, I, here we go. Oh, okay. Here we go, guys. I feel sexy when... I put on my referee outfit. What part of your body are you the proudest of? Oh, butt implants. Yeah! That was easy. But I won't say it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, finish this sentence. I wish I were more. More better at performing magic tricks. That was terrible. What other celebrities are you off, are you mistaken for? Oh, Chad Smith. Chad Smith. Good. Who was your first kiss with? Uh, um. He loved you though. He really did. <laughs> What was her name? It was, oh, Ab, Abby? Get, get, Ab, mm. Gabby. <laughs> I'll split the difference. <laughs> Mine was with a young man named Christian. Oh. If you're flipping through the channels of, and one of your movies is on, mm -hmm. will you watch it? A hundred percent, yes. <laughs> yeah. What's one thing you've tried that you'll never try again? Uh, oh, uh, yes, scuba diving. <laughs> scuba diving. Right? Yeah, but nope. Worth trying once, but no. never again. Yeah, no, no, I don't need to pressure. live under there. That means I'm yeah. not supposed to be under We're there. We're not allowed. We're not supposed to live, be down there. No. Why would pressure. you have all the tanks it's and the things? It's their world. It's not right. ours. It's, let them have it. Give it they, to them. I'm talking about sea creatures. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we? Yeah. Why, that's their why, world. It's so They don't come on our bus. They don't come and try to walk around on land. No, this why would they? Like, unless yeah. it's a, no, yeah. and then they doesn't work out 100%. in the end well. Yes. What's the weirdest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? 
that I died in a hang gliding accident. True story? True story. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I had to call my parents and say it didn't happen. Yeah. They must have been so excited to hear your voice. <laughs> oh, I don't think they'd heard it yet, but it was about to break. break. Yeah. Oh. What's the weird... I don't have time for this. <laughs> your first celebrity crush, Will. Oh. Don't say Gabby Abby. But she's not a celebrity. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, uh, Joni on Happy Days. Yeah! Right? Yes! Right? Well. And also, too, is it weird to say the mom on eight is enough? No. No. Just keep banging it out. Get it all out. A lot of blank faces out there. <laughs> They're like, yes. eight is this enough? This guy is weird. Yep. Sean Cassidy. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's something you've been meaning to try but just haven't gotten around to it yet? Um, read a book. Oh. <laughs> that means they're over us. Uh, they got, we literally... Downhill opens in theaters Valentine's Day. We'll be right back. Wow. one of the most famous singers on the planet. Her new CD, Rare, debuted this week at number one. Please welcome my dear friend, Selena Gomez. Beautiful, yes, you are. You. This thank is you incredible, so Selena. You haven't been. Here. First of all, I promise I'm not going to scare you. I know that Ellen does that That's too. That's quite all right. And I and I because trust me, I hate it too. And there's yes. like, let's show some pictures of oh, how of tortured you are by Ellen. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Yeah. See, all look right. at, it's just cruel, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, it's cruel. Well, I won't do that to you. This is uh, this is exciting. I know. Oh, first off, are you guys kidding me? Rachel was my life. Like. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. You're but you so know what, though? You know what makes me so happy is that I would watch it on Channel 33 um, at 10.30 every night on Thursday with my mom. Yes. And I cried when the whole season was over. But what made me so happy is, like, now, now, like, people my age and everyone else is just obsessed. And it just makes me so happy, oh. like, for you and for the show because I... it's iconic. Oh, God, I love you. Alina, <laughs> you're so... You've always been so sweet. You are you're, you really are a genuine fan, and it's yeah. amazing. And we've we've met, we've known each other for years. Yeah. You've been to my house. We've had pizza. Girl after my own part, heart. Do we love a pizza or yeah. what? We love yes, a pizza. We do. It's so it's so so much fun. Now, someone did. I, I was told that you recall us meeting for the first time in a bathroom. Yes. I would remind me of because where? well, nobody knew who I was, okay. and you were in the bathroom. Wearing a black dress. Okay. And I Weird. think we were at like Vanity Fair something event, and I was there with my mom, and I walked into the bathroom, and I saw you, and you were just like so nice. You just like walked out to the bathroom, and you were going back, and my heart like stopped, and I freaked out, and I ran to my mom, and I was like, oh my god, I just saw Jennifer Aniston. And I was like, oh my god. Did I say hello? Did we say? No, hello? Do we have a pleasantry? Busy. You were you, uh, you washing were... my hands. I hope. Yeah. No, you were. You were Fine. You're you were everything that I that I wanted. Bless your heart. <laughs> now you have a, a CD that that's come out. Yes. This is a, it debuted at number one. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible, and you're getting you're 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 getting the greatest reviews of your career. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's to, exciting, isn't it? To How does work that... on something for so long. It's been. Four to five years since I had released any of my own personal music, so yeah. I was very nervous. You just you don't really know what's going to happen, and to get the reviews that I've gotten has um, validated the fact that I do know I'm a real artist and that yes. I work my 
Sorry, uh, I work really hard. You can really say hard. ass on this. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, you can't. No, Sorry, you can't. that's me. I keep forgetting. Okay, but Late I worked night. really, I worked. Oh, we can say ass. Okay, well, I worked my ass off. Yes, this. girl. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, I have to say, you know, Lose You to Love Me, that's a very revealing song. And it is nerve wracking when you are putting your honest your heart out there yeah. um, and yet it always seems to pay off because that's what people really respond to is your authenticity your beauty and your honesty well I appreciate that and yeah. I think that was the the whole point you know as I was younger I or when I was younger I felt like it was um, a weakness mm. to be vulnerable and to share my heart with people mm -mm. and I, I realized that everybody else seemed to be narrating my life for me yes so why don't I put something out that is my side of the story. It's not hateful or anything. It's simply a beautiful moment to, to let go of. And yeah. I was really, really proud of it. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Yeah. That must just really yeah. The name of Selena CD is Rare. Stream it wherever you can. We will be right back. sunny right now in Burbank, but there is a 100% chance of showers in our studio because it's time to play Make It Rain! It's raining! It's raining! It's raining! It's raining! Okay, where are Kelsey Kuhn and Kristen Johnson? You're so cute. Okay, here, here's how the game works, you guys. Hidden somewhere under one of these umbrellas is $5,000 cash. Unfortunately, under the other ones is a, is a, a lot of water. So um, you're gonna have to go stand over there. Go, okay, go, 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 go! Yes. you a question as soon as you know the answer grab the water bottle if you are right you get to pick an umbrella ready the new season of Ellen's game of games just started what's the name of the game where if you don't know you go <laughs> shoot <laughs> I'm gonna go with know or go <laughs> That's correct! That is correct! Okay. Oh! I'm really cold! Oh! Okay. That's okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. All right, guys, hand behind, hands behind your back. Okay. I forgot to say that part of the game. All right. The Grammys are this Sunday, and Ellen was nominated for her comedy album, Relatable. Tell me something relatable about you. To Ellen? You tell me something relatable about you, and okay, go. I'm a female, and she's a female. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back here. It's really, really cold. Oh my god. Okay. Please, 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 please. Ah! Oh my god. Please, please, please. 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 Please, Finish the lyrics to this Lizzo song. I do my hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? Uh, feeling good as hell! That's correct! <laughs> uh, I want you to get one too! Oh. Make it rain! Okay, one, two, three, please! Yeah!
empty-handed. You're not going home empty-handed. I just remembered I have two more tickets to the Grammys, so you're going to. to the end of the show. Um, I know. And I, I just want to thank Will Ferrell, Selena Gomez, and Ellen for forcing me to do this. <laughs> but before I go, I, I just I want to say one last thing. Um, I was a little nervous to host today. But every time I looked into the audience, there were two people who were looking at me with such kind eyes. Aww. You too. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I really, it, it gave me so much support. And I know that this is something that, you know, Ellen normally does, only Ellen, but it's my show today. <laughs> so I would like to invite you both back for one of Ellen's 12 days of giveaways. <laughs> Actually, hold on, sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, 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 the two other girls back there, you are really sweet too. So wait, do you, would you guys wanna come as well to the 12, 12 days of giveaway? All right. I, well, you know what else? I'm sorry, that, this whole side can come. <laughs> It's the most wonderful time.